Hi guys, good afternoon and welcome back to another episode of Two Wacky Pundits, Dr. D and Dr. A. So, what have we got All today? Right. Well, today... I'm seeing another book in your hands. So. Yes, that's right, another book report. It's called Bitter Wings by Harry Wu. It's an autobiography. Mm -hmm. Of a guy who was shafted by the communist uh, communist CCP, yeah. the Communist Party of China. Okay, shafted in uh, how badly? Uh, really badly okay. for 19 years of his life. He was sure. ruined. Okay, he was at death's door uh, several times. Oh, well, essentially, this guy was a champion scholar, an engineer, and mm -hmm. uh, and an athlete. Okay. And he didn't accept the uh, cultural revolution <coughs> in China at that time. Okay, we're talking about the by, cultural revolution for those who are not... Instituted by Chairman Mao Zedong. Mao, Mao, Mao Zedong. Zedong, not Ping. No, Mao, Mao Zedong. Okay, that's the one I know the best. All right. And he, he defeated the nationalists and uh, occupied the whole of China mm -hmm. with his, his ideas of the... Uh, communists. And this is around what period? 1950s? 1950s, yes. Okay. About 1952, 53. Mm -hmm. And it, he only managed to get uh -huh. out of China, this guy, in 1975. Oh, okay. And then he became a spokesman for the UN. Mm -hmm. He even went back to China with a small hidden camera to take videos of the, of the concentration camps. They weren't called concentration camps. They were called working camps. Okay. And the, the Chinese had a very ingenious way of, of putting you in prison. They wouldn't, wouldn't claim any civil or criminal offense. It was an administrative offense for them to, okay. to, to put you in a reform, reform camp and steal 19 years of your life. Sure. So it's, it, really, it really goes into the nitty gritty. It goes into the details of his friends in camp, the ones who died. Mm -hmm. from starvation, from uh, from disease, from being... Uh, some of them st died from uh, misery. Well, they just couldn't take it anymore. Well, Many of them committed suicide. Mm -hmm. Many of them committed suicide. It, it, it just... It didn't... They were permitted nothing. They were permitted no literature, nothing. Just the Red Book of Chairman Mao. <laughs> you know, all right. And the communist newspapers of the time. Oh, all right. What really got to me, mm. what really got to me, was the um, struggle meetings. They were called at certain moments to to reach a certain quota because the Chairman Mao had had to had a well, became paranoid at the end. Mm -hmm. He's and not he, arresting enough people. He started seeing enemies everywhere, at every corner, and he he wanted to, to he wanted <coughs> them the the party to arrest and reform as many people as possible. Okay. And to reform as many people as possible, you have to make as many enemies as possible or see enemies in places where they shouldn't mm. be. Mm. And any, anybody who didn't show enough enthusiasm, for, ins for instance, when they were chanting Chairman Mao's name, was instantly labeled a revolutionary. And he would be... It was a fun place to be in the 1950s. Oh in my Berlin, God, yeah? it, was a, it was a hell on earth. As, this, these are his words. It was a hell on earth. Right. And this book is really worth it. Um, you won't find it here in Malta, obviously. There's yeah, no way yeah, you're going to yeah. find it here in Malta because practically we're living in a communist country here in Malta. Oh, okay, okay. Remember the first time, <laughs> the first right. lesson right. we had in right. politics? Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> right. Let's go back to the struggle meetings. They would put you in the middle of the room. They would start chanting your name with their hands held up in the air. And then they would decide your punishment. Your punishment okay. could be um, a whipping, a beating. Sometimes it could be even uh, killing. They could uh, lynch you. Okay. They would start people I just can't take it anymore. They, they, say, they, okay, they would just lynch you. Kill me. Wow. They would lynch you. All right. That's about it. There's there are there are pictures in the start oh, in the middle of the book. Yeah, but not of the gulag, of course. S not not of the gulags, but of the of the working camps. This is him. This mm -hmm. is Harry Wu. This is a picture taken with a hidden camera. Yeah. And this okay. is the the pouch containing the hidden camera. Okay. Which he when he went to China, 
he managed to take several pictures. Mm -hmm. Quite a brave man. Well, now, of course, China has completely, let's say, officially renounced um, communism. Still communist. Officially. Still communist. Well, uh, they are enjoying the capitalist ways, though, as well. You cannot really deny that. That's, that's for sure. Deng Xiaoping sa always said that capitalism is in no way <clears throat> incompatible with communism. Mm. He always said that, even in the 1970s, 1960s. Money is money at the end of the day. But the Chinese are perfidious. They have a system of... of, of they, have, they have a credit score system. Where if, if you, for instance, play too many video games, or if you go online, if you try using a VPN, mm -hmm. that credit score is always increasing, increasing. Until it reaches a certain point where you can't use <clears throat> PayPal anymore, you can't, you can't buy things in the stores, you can't go on trains. You can't fly out of the country. Okay. So this is this is typical of China. So the repressive measures taken under Chairman Mao have in no way relented. They have they have they are still okay. there. Well, there was still there. Tiananmen Square and everything like that. So of course, of course, as well. So yeah, it's a That's interesting about story it. about this guy. Who you won't find it on this. Kindle either. I don't know why. Amazon. 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 Probably or Abe books. You find everything on Amazon. Jesus. Yeah, but it's inflated prices sometimes. Yeah, but books. Yeah, but then, books but that's are... what they tell you. You know, it's a rare book. Blah blah blah. You won't find it in books. And then you, there was a book, um, labeled, uh, one hundred and eighty euros on Amazon. I found it on Abe books for about six euros. So yeah, Abe, yeah. I mean, Amazon they inflate prices. Sometimes. I know. I know. It, it, it depends on the seller that you find. Yeah, exactly. So, exactly. All right. Exactly. Yeah, so we're going to end it on a business note on how to buy books online. Yeah, that's so always good for, it's always our, for our viewers. Yeah. Okay, guys, so I think we're done for today. Don't forget to send like in your comments. Subscribe. We're still waiting for the trolls. So, by the way, I still have my nail polish from a few weeks. It's faded now. Ago. Yeah, a bit, but it's faded. still there. For two so. weeks. Okay, guys, so until the next video. May your God be with you. Indeed. Bye.